Hey guys, it's Falcon here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the last two uh, Mr. Pandarian zones, which is Kun Li, Kun Lao Summit, which is a level 87 to 89 leveling zone. I was incorrect in the last video that I posted, and as such I am correcting it. So this area is going to be featuring a few things, uh, one of which will be the secrets of the shadow pan and apparently this is the area containing the darkest secrets of pandaria it is also going to be under assault by a certain troll faction hmm blizzard did make promises didn't they and it's also a home for the yao yongol yongol Ugh. It's a sub race of the Torrens. They got really. They look like. What is it? Buffalo? Or bisons? I don't know. Bull people. They all look the same, to be honest. And then the second area we're going to take a look at is the Town Long Steps, or Steeples, which is a level 89 to 90 leveling zone. This will have a lot of focus on the men. Mented, which are the bug people, and this area is actually cut off from the rest of Pandaria with the Great Wall of China, um, <clears throat> Great Wall of Pandaria. So apparently, this is a crazy, crazy zone, and it will be the last one you should be in, I believe. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So the first thing you're going to notice is that I'm looking at my minimap. But, furthermore, that the beginning of this area starts off as a kind of the Barrens theme of just kind of being uh, Plains-ish, I guess is, is what it would be technically called. And I would like to make a quick clarification. The Dread Waste is a level 89 to 90 zone, and then the Eternal Veil of the Eternal Blossoms is a level 90 zone which is going to be I guess it's going to be dailies and the such like that so as you can see we're going here and we see a temple off in the distance which is where we're trying to go and this is the temple of the white tiger and it's got some really cool stuff here cherry blossom trees and really cool statues now this is a friendly friendly faction here I believe and at least they are currently no one wanted to eat my face which is something I'm always okay with pandas should not eat faces so we're just gonna have a look around you can see there's tool 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 eh. two pandas back there fighting but we're, we're not the least bit really interested in that. Let's get a look at it in here. So you can see there's little cubs. And then there's this really cool room. But there's nothing currently there. It will most likely be phased. But it could just be that they haven't implemented it. Beta is beta. I feel that this is something that should always be stressed. So I'm like, hmm, well, what's this little island? This little this little little island looks kind of kind of cool. So let's go over there. Now you can tell that I'm kind of kind of hopping my way along, and it converts back to the plainsy feel. And then it comes into a kind of a a tropical resort, really, which is, I find a little odd just the, the drastic change of weather climates I guess it, you could say it's the height of it but I, I just I do find it a little crazy now right here these are what I believe the blood cell pirates I believe that's their ships I, I could be mistaken but that's what they look like to me and then I see a little you know thing there so I'm like ooh purple shinies then I see the big crazy statues of the guys whose names I cannot remember, but they are 
vicious looking. But, so, I'm like, hmm, this is probably where the trolls are? I mean, there's, there's voodoo skull things and all kinds of madness. So I kind of just want to get a good look around. It's, it's a really little pretty area. Still wondering why the blood cell pirates are there. I'm wondering if maybe the plots, the trolls jack the ships. And maybe they're seeking the power source here from the Pandarian gods. Not, not quite sure. Uh, there's not a whole lot about this out. So we're going to do some, uh, some mountain climbing here. Or mountain sighting. It's like a horrible bird watching thing. So we just pop on over here and I believe this is us getting into the town long steeple, step, steeps, however you want to pronounce it. And this has got kind of a, it's got kind of the Northrend feel, the, the, the actual, oh wait, no, 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 this is actually still part of the, yeah, I found the instance for the, uh, the, the temple of the white tiger that's right but the area has just kind of a um, I, uh, ice crown feel to it not like not the the, the, the buildings and stuff I mean obviously that's Pandarian uh, Asianish design but what I'm talking about is just the the landscape reminds me a lot of you know, the, the jagged frozen peaks and all that. It just has a real Lich King feel to it. You know, and it, it, that, that's a feeling I liked. I loved the quest... Eh. Let me rephrase this. I didn't love the questing Wrath of the Lich King. I loved the feel of the areas, though. They always felt really intense in some spots. And it's also home of some of my favorite quests. So... Now we're getting into the town long steeples. Going with steeples. It sounds the best. And I kind of enunciate my S's a little bit too much, but what can you do? So we're just going to pop on along. Now this area is really kind of cool. It's, it's kind of really lush as to what I th was thinking it was going to be. And then I find this craziness. And I'm like, what the hell? There is some demonic shit going on here. And there's the Tonka, Torrid, and Bull people. Goddamn Bull people. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm actually running out of mana, which I'm like, ah, no, no. I'm almost done. Like, fuck it, let's. Ah, where to go? Where to go? So, this is getting cool. And it's like, well, where am I? I think I'm over here, but then I'm like, yeah, I gotta be up here. So, I figured that's the island that I'm looking at. And I'm like, well, I'm almost out of mana. There's a big temple over here. Let's go to the temple. So we're taking a few risks here. You see there, there's crazy shit falling from the sky. This is like hell on earth. For a second there I thought I was screwed and then I got kicked. So I'm up at the temple now. And I make a grave mistake right here. I almost, almost screw up. I can't. Like, ah, no, no. Why? But luckily, I see that I can actually aim that. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can just move a little. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm totally pimp like that. So, there, there's something interesting coming up. And I do apologize about kind of the way I sound. My voice is currently pretty dead due to being sick but yes there's a giant yak and this guy he is a flaming frozen looking yak and as you can see the the pandas are fighting off the 
insect people, which are currently those, uh, ra- uh, not ravagers, but um, the, the flail people with the craziness that like to swing their claws really quick. So, we're about to wrap this up. There's one last little place that I pop over to, which is kind of cool. But I would like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, I would like to encourage you to subscribe if you would. I have lots of Mr. Pandaria beta videos that I will be doing along with Terra footage. I know a lot of people aren't liking Terra, but I think that maybe you should give the current open beta a shot before you make too many judgments. Because it's actually kind of fun. But I ask that you like this video and that you simply have a wonderful day or night depending on when you watch this video because I upload these at night my time listen I, I also you know I have various footage this will be the last one of this kind because I really don't know of anything else I can go explore currently that said if they say hey you know we've updated a bunch of models I'm going to be doing my best to get footage. But that's about it. Thank you, and have yourself a great day, night, morning, 